The Rebirth Plan of Ocean Park, I think, is a winning proposition for two reasons. It's designed by Hong Kong people for Hong Kong people. Uh, so I, I think uh, it will become a future popular uh, leisure destination for uh, Hong Kong people and tourists alike. The second reason is um, because of its uh, uh, viability in attracting uh, local consumers, local visitors, uh, in spending their time and money at, th at, the, at the park. Um, this makes the, uh, the Ocean Park business model uh, sustainable again. Um, what are the changes to be made? So the uh, lower park uh, of Ocean Park uh, will be um, a free for all uh, retail dining entertainment zone and we will find a partner or partners to uh, help us operate this lower park. Uh, from the MTR station all the way to Deepwater Bay, it will be free admission. So uh, people can come in whenever they want. Uh, there's no ticket barrier, there's no gate uh, in the lower park. The upper park, um, it will run as a pay-as-you-go model, uh, where people only pay for what they need or what they want. Uh, Ocean Park itself will retain uh, a small portion of the uh, leisure and fun uh, uh, facilities. Uh, and all the um, um, conservation and education facilities. But the rest of the upper park, uh, we will be retiring older rides, older facilities to make space for partners, outside partners, to uh, bring in the best hardware, the best offerings uh, from around the world for people. Uh, the, the net result, like I say, is uh, people, whether it's uh, Hong Kong visitors or overseas visitors, will have choice. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, new experiences uh, from time to time. That should drive up uh, repeat visits instead of coming to the park every two or three years, which is uh, the current average. Key question is, when will it actually break even and how many visitors do you need a year to sustain that? So the government support uh, that is being requested of LegCo is, among other things, uh, it's for four years, the conservation and education uh, subvention that we are uh, seeking. That implies that this turnaround from old Ocean Park into the completely new Ocean Park uh, will take uh, four years. Um, the, the, the old park requires five to six million people a year to break even, but that figure has no meaning in the new park when uh, our main revenue will no longer be a flat price uh, ticket. Uh, um, uh, with, with the new park, uh, we are trying to drive uh, repeat visits and uh, within each visit, more productive spending, more productive uh, leisuring. So, so I, I think we will require um, a much lower visitor number to, uh, to achieve sustainability. But even so, like um, the park is still deep in debt. So how can it be financially sustainable in the long run so that it won't have to ask for another round of government funding? Um, th that's precisely uh, one of the uh, requests we are making with LegCo uh, to restructure the government debt to, uh, pause the, um, to pause the interest as well as to defer the principal repayment. That uh, buys uh, the park uh, a lot of essential time and room to, uh, to restructure itself to transform itself from the old park to the new park. And once we have the new park up and running on a sustainable path, that is when we resume our obligation to repay the government and the taxpayers. Thank you so much for your time, Ming Wai, and hope to see you next time. Thank you.